Okay, so I started by removing the screws right on the back of the television, the lower center, that uh, basically hold the TV onto the uh, stand. They uh, screw into those two support posts there. And uh, so that's the first thing I did. Uh, next, I removed all the screws around the uh, panel that has all your ports and connections. Uh, there are a total of six screws, two there, two there, two there, and then another two on the side right here. And I'm just keeping a uh, tray over here where I'm arranging my screws roughly how they appear on the back so that when I put them back, uh, they're all in the right place. So next I removed all the outside screws, uh, just starting from one corner and making my way around. Uh, the screws at the top are a little bit different than the screws around the sides, so these two screws right there, make sure you don't get those confused with the other screws. And uh, so that's basically that. Um, so I'm just finishing up removing these screws along the bottom. So there's another couple screws right here where the uh, buttons for channel and volume and input and menu and so far are. So I'm going to remove those two screws there. And again, notice that those two screws have uh, little washers attached to them and they're different than a lot of the screws that go around the side. So make sure you don't get those screws mixed up. So again, just to make sure I'm not getting all my screws mixed up, I'm sort of laying them out as they uh, are arranged on the television. So those two screws I just removed, those are the two side screws that I removed earlier, and then these are the uh, two screws that uh, connect where the buttons for volume and channel so far are notice that I'm placing there so I don't get them confused, uh, along with these, which were the screws that connected here. So just a good way to make sure that you keep your screws all in order. And then lastly, uh, it appears that there are sort of four large headed screws that uh, form a square in the middle of the back of the television. So that's these screws here. So I'm going to remove those four screws. And at that point, hopefully I can remove the entire back panel. So these uh, little plastic screws here, um, all they are is uh, actually just little fillers to fill the hole where a wall mount would attach. So uh, they do attach to the back panel, um, but they don't attach to anything inside the television, but uh, you do need to remove them. Okay, so to remove the back panel, um, the uh, back panel kind of slips inside of this plastic lip here. Let's focus on that. And uh, you kind of have to pop it out. Over here, it's easy if you just kind of lift up here you can get it to pop out over that plastic lip there. Also be careful because these under edges are actually pretty sharp. I just cut my finger on it, um, so be careful with that. All right, well, once you get those little uh, plastic screws out of the middle, uh, the whole thing kind of pops up pretty easily once you get it out of that bottom lip. And in fact, I just uh, lifted it up and leaned it against the back of my couch here, so I didn't even fully take it off. Uh, but there you have it. There's the inside of your television. Also, for those of you that are interested in taking a closer look at the inside of the TCP50G10 Panasonic Vieira, um, I'll just take you on a quick tour around. I don't actually know too much about all the parts, but some of you may be interested in seeing what's in there. And uh, so I'll take you on a quick tour around. We'll start uh, at the center. So... For those of you that know what all this is, there you go. And uh, we'll just work our way up to the top. There are some cooling fans, I imagine, and you can notice actually dust gathers on the inside of there. So before I close this up, I'm going to clean that up. And uh, as we come around to the side here, see a series of connections that run vertically along the side. And all those connect to a board here. I feel like I'm filming Tron or something. Uh, there's some heat sinks, I imagine. And here's where your volume and channel, menu, and input control buttons connect up. As we run along the bottom, we can see the uh, built-in speakers and a series of 
connections that run horizontally. I'm guessing one of these is responsible for the infamous black stripe problem that I'm having. And uh, that's where the power connects and I learned that these two screws right there disconnect that guy and uh, I didn't need to disconnect that so I reconnected it. And there's the other speaker and of course this is where all your inputs and outputs connect and they all I imagine run from there to these boards. Again I have no idea what I'm talking about but I imagine some of you do. And of course more connections running along the side and there's another board there. So there you have it. So hopefully that will be useful to some of you and that is the little town of circuitry inside the Panasonic Viera TCP 50G10. for this.